morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Rosenbaum. Thank you for signing on. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back. I am a full-time mommy, a part-time YouTuber, part-time reseller, and this video is going to be a little bit different. Today's video is going to be more of a broad topic of entrepreneurism and staying home and making money from home. So today's topic is going to be just on different reasons people become an entrepreneur or maybe you're thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, but you don't know if it's for you. So I just kind of wanted to start off by giving you a little bit of factual information. 88% of the world's millionaires are self-made. So that means they did not inherit their wealth. And most people can make their own wealth by becoming an entrepreneur. So I'm just going to talk about some of the reasons why I chose to become an entrepreneur and maybe some reasons why other people have as well and some of the perks of being an entrepreneur. So if you're thinking maybe this is for me or maybe I'm not sure if I have what it takes to be an entrepreneur, let me debunk that myth and show you why you can. So I have always had entrepreneurism in my family. My mom has always owned her own business since I was a baby. I've had other members of my family also own their own successful businesses and it's just something that I always grew up watching. So I do also have a business degree, a bachelor's in business, and I thought, you know, at first I wanted to go into other areas of business where I worked for somebody else and I realized that I hate it and I don't want to work for anybody else. So that's kind of why I also decided that I needed to be an entrepreneur. And I really had no choice in the matter because I have children and I need to make money, but I know that if I got any other type of job, I would literally be paying for daycare and I would not be having enough money left over to even make a difference. So I knew that something had to be different and the only other way it could be different is if I found a way to make money from home. And so I did. But there are many, many, many ways that you can make money from home being an entrepreneur and that'll be in another video. So that's the one reason that I'm going to say number one reason is looking for flexibility in your schedule, whether that's a need, like it was for me, or if it's a want. So maybe you don't have kids, but you just don't like being told you have to be somewhere when you have to be there and when to do it. So flexibility and schedule is like a huge thing for people looking to be an entrepreneur. Because when you are an entrepreneur, you can decide when you work, how often you work, how hard you work. If you need to leave to go pick up the kids from school, you can. If the kids are sick and you don't have to call off, you can. Reason number two I've kind of alluded to already is wanting to be your own boss or not liking to f follow the rules per se. You wanna make your own rules. So it was just really hard for me working under other people because the bosses that I worked under in retail, they had no respect. They did not care, not one little bit about you, your problems, your sicknesses, anything like that. They just didn't care. They wanted you to be there and you were just a pawn to them. And that didn't sit right with me. It didn't make me happy. Why work for somebody else when you can work for yourself? You can work super hard making somebody else rich or you can work super hard making yourself rich and I'm going to choose the second one because why not? Also there's a little bit of security in working for yourself because you don't have to worry about anyone else showing up to work one day and being like you're fired which just happened in, in somebody I know's work where somebody walked in four years of experience and they just said okay peace out you're gone bye no warning no nothing just you're gone because we don't we don't need your position anymore. So you don't have to worry about that because I mean, you probably could fire yourself, but why would you want to, you know? You don't have to worry. Like your future is in your hands, nobody else's. So that's another perk and a little added security in being your own boss. With that being said though, there is a con to that. You do have to be a self-motivator to be your own boss because you're not going to have somebody going, okay, do this at this time or you're fired. You know, like you don't have that over your head as a huge motivation. So you have to be able to motivate yourself when you are your own boss to make sure that the things that need to get done, get done. So you also have to be a hard worker. So if you are a hard worker in your workplace now and you're currently working for somebody else and you're busting your butt 
and they just keep piling more and more and more on your plate and you're thinking, why am I doing all this for you? This isn't my job. You do have to be a hard worker, but again, be a hard worker for yourself. Don't be a hard worker for somebody else. If you're going to work hard anyway, you may as well reap all the benefits from it and not get talked down on. Also, when you work for somebody else, generally speaking, unless you're in a sales position getting commissions, your income is capped at a certain point. You either hit your max salary or you hit the max pay. The company pays an hour and it generally takes you years and years and years to hit that point. But typically speaking, when you are an entrepreneur, there is no cap in income. You can just work a little bit harder or work a little bit smarter and make more money. And you're not capped by what anybody else says you're worth or you can make. So that is really, really good as well. And also being an entrepreneur or an at home entrepreneur, the tax deductions that you have are way, way, way more than what you have when you're working for somebody else. You generally don't get as many tax deductions at all. So it's really nice that you can write up a lot more things, thus making your tax bill a little bit lower. So that's really good as well. Another reason why you might choose to want to work for yourself versus working for somebody else is the will to treat a legacy. So if you have children who want to be in the same industry as you, they can go work for the same company as you, but it's not creating a, a legacy for your family. You're creating a legacy for the owner of that company. So if you own your own business and your children want to go in the same industry as you, they can work for you. They can take over the business when you decide that you want to retire. They can pass it on. It can be a family business when your children are old enough to work, but maybe not old enough to take over the company just yet. Your spouse can do it with you. Your whole family can do things together and it can strengthen your bond as a family and be a family business where a lot of times you can't take your kids to work when you work for somebody else. You can't have your spouse come and just work with you, help you get your job done. They're not gonna like that too much. They're gonna frown upon that, tell him get out, her to get out. So it's really, really nice that you can just involve your family in whatever way you need to do. And that being said, you could also take family time when you need family time. You can go on family trips and you don't have to worry about no, I've only got three weeks vacation time or I've used up all my vacation time or, you know, you're only like with my husband's company, he's only ever going to get so many weeks of vacation and he's never going to get more than that. So if we use all of that and an emergency comes up with my family overseas, he can't go because he won't have the time. But being a family ran business, being entrepreneurs, people who work from home, you have that flexibility and that freedom. So if these are some things that you think you feel like or sound good to you then i think that you would make a great entrepreneur and i definitely think that you should look into ways that you can be your own boss and be an entrepreneur and i do plan on making other videos in the future coming up about different ways that you can be an entrepreneur and all of the tips and basics and need to knows about doing so so if you like this kind of content please let me know. I will still be posting reselling content, but I am expanding a little bit more into different ways you can also make money from home doing what it is I do or what you want to do. So I will see you next time. Bye.